Skeletal Muscle Tissue. This video is made for the Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review. There are four main tissue types in the human body. There's epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Because we're talking about skeletal tissue, we're going to zoom in on muscle tissues. All muscle tissue will contract. We have three types of muscle tissues in the body. There's cardiac, smooth, and skeletal muscle. Let's develop the skeletal muscle a little further. Before we go there, here's a picture of the three muscle types in the body and, the, and their location. This is a quick overview of the three muscle types and how they look different on histology slides as well as the picture. We will cover each, in, each type individually, so uh, let's just go ahead and look specifically at skeletal muscle. That's this first one right here. On high power, as you can see, skeletal muscle has this unique stripes, very obvious. These stripes are called striations, and they run parallel to each other. They also run perpendicular to the whole length of the muscle fiber. Okay, this is a very long muscle fiber, and we're only looking at a small section of it. Now, having said that, notice that we call it muscle fiber and not a muscle cell. Reason being, unlike the typical cells you've been looking at, muscle fiber are muscle cells that have fused together in the past so that there are more than one nuclei in each muscle fiber. The nuclei are pretty easy to see. They're these oval dots that are found at the edge of the muscle fiber. Let's continue on. Here you have another glimpse of the muscle, uh, skeletal muscle tissue. And as you see, these are long muscle fibers. They run parallel to each other. Uh, the length of them, that is, they seem to be parallel uh, to each other. And then, in terms of the perpendicular to the length of the muscle fibers, will be these striation, these stripes. Now, in addition, you have to know where the skeletal muscles are found. They're found where we talk about muscles in the body. By definition, skeletal muscles are muscles that we are consciously aware of when we contract them. So let's say in your arms, the biceps brachii muscle, or the tricep brachii muscle, the deltoid muscle where we get our shots, gluteal muscle in our buttocks, legs muscle at the quadriceps, all of these would be good example of skeletal muscle tissues. Uh, also on your list, you need, to look, uh, you need to know the cell nucleus, the cell membrane, and the striations. As you can see, the striation is pretty clear. Cell nucleus is also very clear, it's the darker oval structures. And in terms of cell membrane, just know it's going to be at the edge of each of these fibers. Here's another look. As you can see, the striation really jumps out at you. And when they're perfectly parallel like that, you know a skeletal muscle you're looking at. Also, notice that these bundles of skeletal fibers are very much perpendicular with each other. And here you see the nuclei. If I were pointed out to this line here, then you would call that the cell membrane. Here's another look at skeletal muscle tissue. Once again, the striation is very clear. They're all perfectly perpendicular to each other. This is the length of the muscle fiber going here, very long. And as you can see, all of these muscle fibers seem to be nicely parallel, running parallel with each other. And here we see the nuclei. Here's another, nu a few more nuclei. Once again, we want to ask you the plasma membrane or the cell membrane, we would point to the edge of the cell. Another look of skeletal or voluntary muscle. Notice the perfect striations, parallel lines, and the nucleus. Along the line here would be the cell membrane. This is low power 
and from here you don't really see the striation too well but you do see how long this muscle fiber can be and also you can see how many nuclei one muscle fiber may have okay all of these dots would be the nuclei back to high power perfectly parallel bundle running this way of muscle fibers and then perpendicular to the length would be the striation and here we see a few nuclei. Another look, the striation should jump out at you. These are multiple bundles, some of them overlapping, that's why sometimes you see the darker regions. Sometimes if there's just one fiber, then it's a lighter region. But uh, still, the striation tells you this is skeletal muscle tissue. Another look at skeletal muscle tissue, here the fibers are running diagonally. You see the nucleus. More perfectly parallel bundles of muscle fibers with the nucleus at the edges and beautiful striations that are parallel and perpendicular to the length of the muscle fiber. Great example of skeletal muscle here. Once again, notice the striation, very prominent, very obvious, and these muscle fibers are all parallel to each other with the squished looking nuclei. Another view of skeletal muscle, here you can see the striations, very obvious. That gives it away that this is skeletal muscle tissue. Another look at skeletal muscle tissue, perfectly parallel bundles and perfectly parallel striations which all run perpendicular to the length of the muscle fiber. And one more look at skeletal muscle, you can see the parallel uh, uh, striations throughout and the nuclei that looks kind of compressed, kind of squished, and that's it.